Okay. Uh, now, the LU decomposition of our matrix A, which we obtained over here, um, I believe I'm using this form of the LU decomposition. And we should really multiply that out and make sure we get the A matrix. This is going to give us 1. This times this is going to give us 2. This times this is going to give us the 4. And this times this is going to give us 8 here, negative 16 here, negative 8. So it works. So there's our LU decomposition. Now, what good is this? Well, let's just note that we could do this. This times something is going to have to equal this. And that something is just all this. Okay? So I'm going to call that something though. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with this. I just want to deal with this times some column some unknown column vector equals this. Whatever this is, I'm going to call it y. And now I can solve this equation for the y1, y2. Okay? So um I don't want to have to rewrite the whole thing. Okay, that's going to be my y. So I'm going to call this y1, y2. Why did I call it y? So I could say, why did I call it y? No. Why did I call this y? Well, I could have called it u, I could have called it w, I could have called it anything. It's just uh, what we would generally call a dummy variable that we insert here. Whatever, But we're going to be able to solve this equation and find our y1 and y2, okay? And then whatever we have here is going to equal whatever we find, and we're going to be able to solve that equation. Now these equations are going to be easy to solve because, well, what's 1, 0 times y1, y2 column? It's just y1, and y1 then equals 4, okay? And then the second row times the column, well, that's 4y1 minus 16y2 equals 24. Okay? That's a system we can easily solve by forward substitution. In other words, we get y1 equals 4, multiply the first row by the column, it's going to equal the first uh, row of this column matrix, and then we have 4y1 minus 16y2 equals 24. Okay, well, we just substitute the 4 in here for y1, and we get 4 times y1 is 16, minus 16y2 equals 24. Well, subtract 16 from both sides, we're going to get negative 8. Divide by negative 16, we get 1 half. So, the column vector y1, y2 is the vector, column vector 4, 1 half. So, now I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it. And that board is a little precarious there. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. So I don't have to block as much of the board when I write. Okay, so from this solution I find that my y vector, which is y1, y2, is equal to 4 1 half. Now what good does that do me? Well, y1, y2 is what I use to replace this. So that this equals this gives us the equation 1, 2, 0, 1 times x1, x2, and it's x1, x2 that we're really trying to solve for. Again, y1, y2 is just kind of a dummy variable that we don't need anymore after we've used it. It's just an intermediate step solving this equation, which will give us x1, x2. 
Okay, let's see, make that four look a little more like a four. Now this stands for the equation x1 plus 2x2 equals 4 and x2 equals 1 half. Uh, let's see, actually my y2 should have been negative 1 half, I was careless with that solution. But we get, uh, we don't get a negative 16, uh, we don't get a negative 8 over here, we get a positive 8, which divided by negative 16 gave us a negative 1 half. <coughs> so x2 is negative 1 half, and x1 plus 2x2 equals 4. Well, x2 is negative 1 half, so 2x2 is negative 1, negative 1 added to both sides leaves us x1 equals 4. 5. We didn't have to do any <coughs> matrix manipulations to solve for our y1, y2. All we had to do was forward substitute. We didn't have to do any matrix manipulations here. All we had to do was forward, or actually in this case, backward substitute, um, because, of course, we had the x2 that we substituted back in to the first equation. Okay, So we get our same solution. The LU decomposition has worked out. And this is a summary of how you would use LU decomposition. Now if you have a 3 by 3 matrix or a bigger matrix, your LU decomposition is going to take more steps to, to figure out, and you're going to have more forward substitutions and more backward substitutions. But you're just going to end up with forward substitutions and backward substitutions. No more matrix manipulations after you've gone through all the pain to get the L and the U. And it's not as difficult to get the L and the U generally as it is to just completely reduce the matrix. Especially when the matrices get bigger. <coughs>